Hey horror fans, uh, thanks for joining me for this review of The Other Lamb. So, um, I'm not really The Other Lamb. Uh, we'll find out who that is in, in a moment here, but um, I'm definitely a uh, unwelcomed guest in this argument. Uh, anyway, cast and crew, as always, down below, along with some other information. And... Uh, Always, they start off here with the IMDb plot to uh, kind of get you guys um, introduced to the story here and make sure we're talking about the same movie. Uh, a girl born into an all-female cult led by a man in their compound begins to question his teachings and her own reality. All right here. So um, here's another movie that, that I wasn't too familiar with. Um, going into it, I, I saw it mentioned here, there, and, um, uh, I took those as positive comments towards the movie, so I decided to, um, check it out for, for my own eyes here and, and see what was happening here. And, um, yeah, it is, it is a cult film, um, big, big time cult here, and, uh, it follows the story of a, of a young girl, uh, I believe her name is Sela, and uh, it kind of follows her her experience in this cult. And uh, this cult is, as one might expect, um, kind of away from the real world, out on their own. Um, they're in the woods. Uh, they have their own little settlement there. And, uh, you know, Almost immediately, you, you kind of see um, Sela as, as a little bit strong-willed, um, where she would expect in a, in a cult, maybe, um, the, the followers of a cult to be followers and, and be very, very submissive to, to whoever's in charge. Um, but you kind of get the, the, the inklings here that, that Sela is a little bit more headstrong and... Um, not really going to take a back, doesn't really want to take a back seat to anybody. Um, and you get that, and I guess the setup here besides her is the leader of this group is called the Shepherd, and um, he's obviously a man, and uh, he's the only man in this group. Um, the other people in this group are, are either wives or daughters of the wives. Um, so, yes, yeah, this guy has more than one wife, um, there's several adult uh, grown women uh, who are known as his wives and then of course the daughters everybody else um, then is the daughters of, of these wives and of, of obviously the shepherd and um, so obviously you know it's kind of like a top down order here anything anything and everything the shepherd says is the right thing and, and he's the one who teaches them guides them um uh, you know, is basically their god and, and so forth. Um, so anything he says goes, and whatever rules he sets out goes, and, and so forth. And that uh, next level under that is the, is the wives, and uh, I guess, you know, the daughters, you know, not only have to listen to the shepherd, but they have to listen to the wives and whatever the wives say. Um, whether they're your mother or not, um, you basically have supposed to respect them and, and whatever they tell you as well. So early on, you kind of see that, that Sela has it in her that, you know, maybe she doesn't want to listen. Maybe she wants to do things on her own. Um, there's an interesting part early on is she, she kind of gets mad or sent away. So she goes up and um, finds an, another woman who's, I guess, in this cabin or, or like a shack or something that's it's a little bit of a ways away from them. And, and at first I kind of thought, oh, this is, you know, like a mysterious woman who's been cast out and, you know, maybe you play a role um, in doing something uh, later. You know, kind of my thoughts about what was going to happen. Um, you know, and again, I don't think I'm, I'm spoiling anything here. And, um, but really it's, it's not what I expected or not, not, didn't turn out to be in that kind of way or that kind of movie. Um, you know, she, she just basically is there to kind of offer another opinion, um, kind of show what happens if you find yourself on the other side of the shepherd. And um, there's, I guess there's an interesting conversation with, with Sela there. And 
in a way, you know, that this other wife, you know, might be planting some seeds in Sal's mind. Um, but the seeds are already really there, and uh, I think you get that uh, early on in the, in the movie. And um, the the way this is set up, you can almost see that that really for for the way they have this society to work and everything. I mean, it works because you're basically submissive to the shepherd and, and, and do what he says and follow his orders and blah, blah, blah. And you all see this this goes totally wrong. And when um, one of those women decide that, uh, no, this is wrong or, or no, you're not right and whatever. Um, so, you know, uh, everything seems to be okay. You know, they go through a couple of scenes and, and you, you know, to get you kind of familiar um, with the setup, um, with how things work, you know, they have some strange rituals and so forth. Um, you know, they, the, the title is The Other Lamb. There, there is some references to the lamb, and, and I guess, you know, you can, you know, he's the shepherd, so again, you know, leading his lamb, leading his flock. Um, you know, there's, there's different ways to interpret, you know, the name and how things unfold in this movie. Um, I guess one of the uh, weird or more grossed out scenes in the movie there is a little lamb and, and I guess you know they they use that as, as a um, uh, you know like I said there's a metaphor in different things but one of the ways they use it for is is um, you know to show childbirth or to show you know birth in the movie and there's a uh, scene where I guess Sella has to be led away to to see the sheep or help the sheep uh, give birth, and uh, it actually doesn't turn out the way you kind of think it is. And um, one of the things the, the movie does is kind of blur the lines between reality and and um, Sella's dreams or thoughts and or visions or whatever whatever you want to call them, whatever you want to interpret them as. Um, there's just a couple of times in the movie where they kind of take you away and, and she's she's seeing other things or seeing herself in different places and, and one of those things is, is this thing that happens with the sheep and um, you know not too many things gross me out or whatever but I was kind of like oh you know I don't know if I want to see that um, so yeah the, there is there is that going on in the movie where where you know they kind of take you away into her dream world or her visions or so forth um, but you kind of kind of pay attention because it, they kind of play a role in who she is or what her thinking is there or what's influencing her and and uh, really what's what's a, a lot of this movie is driven by is is um you know images and 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 kind of these foreshadowings or or metaphors and stuff like that i, I think you know, one of my takeaways from this movie is, is that it's really born on, on that kind of thing as well. Um, you know, yeah, there, there's a story being told here, but it's it's about capturing certain images and so forth um, that go on in this movie. And, and um, obviously kind of like the picture um, behind me, you know, that's one of them. But, uh, you know, it's very born on, on finding the, these certain scenes and certain shots um, that they put together here and the dream sequences that they put together here to kind of push the story and help the story um, on the other end of that you, you know if you've listened to some of my other reviews especially you know like for say uh, Midsommar um, where I talk about weirdness and how you know there's a weird level in the movie and uh, I did find myself entering that realm of, of you know this is strange this is weird um Obviously, you know, once I saw that, you know, this is a cult thing, you know, I kind of expected some of that. Um, but again, you, you know how I feel about that. You know, I, I'm, I'm good for weird up to a certain point and then it starts to lose me. So I don't think it, it lost me totally, but I was it was basically, you know, getting there on the borderline of, of this is just strange and odd. And, um, you know, I can see what's going on there. And, and I kind of felt like, yeah, this, this movie's just building on on the images and the shots that they're that they're they're able to create here and, and you know that that's terrific and, and you know sometimes film you know films are a different way you know sometimes it's about a lot of action sometimes it could be about you know the blood and guts and a lot of gore um, and then sometimes you know even 
uh, a movie can be even a little bit more artsy or a little bit more for for painting the pictures and putting the images together and so forth and uh, you know I think that that goes together in every film but you know I think some films are a little bit more um, you know kind of in that way and kind of mean as, as, as you know more of an, an art form to it or, or that's what they're going for here and I kind of felt that that about this movie it was it was about putting those images together um, you know seeing catch, capturing those images of the woman struggling uh, you know as well um, and also, you know, there's their story of there of overcoming and, and growing up. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously, you know, they wanted you to feel something for the women here. And, and, uh, you know, I just, I didn't really, you know, I guess it almost got me to going off the edge there, but then I guess, you know, uh, without, let me see the best way to say this without giving away what happens here, um. You know, I guess things start taking. Uh, okay, so I guess to set it up is is that um, they're not, I guess, totally invisible to the world. Uh, a policeman does come by and basically tell them they they can't be where they are. So they basically, you know, pack their stuff up and go on, you know, like a great voyage or great voyage for themselves. And um, you know, I don't know whether he he knows where he's going or he just leads them and hopefully then that he's going to find it you, you don't really know a backstory of him you know you, you've you're, you're you're following mostly Sella there so you don't really get a backstory of him you you do you know um find out you know what's going on in this group but you don't know you know like his history has he always been this way has he always run a cult or you know was he uh really religious person at one time and then decided to go this route here with the, with the women and so forth. Um, so, you know, I guess you don't really know what to expect from him or, or know where he's going. But, um, you know, he seems to be well-versed or at least well-versed in, in playing the religious role and, and the godlike figure of this group. Um, so he leads them and leads them and leads them and, until he finds this spot. And I don't want to give away too much about this spot. But um, he finds this spot and I guess that's uh, when they do, you know, that there's, you'll know it, and uh, I guess things kind of change for the group um, once they, they I guess, I don't, they don't completely get settled there, but I guess, you know, once they've arrived and kind of like take that break that, hey, we've arrived, um, there's a, a tra another traumatic moment that happens prior to that, uh, but I'll let you catch that that on, on your own without giving that away. Um and uh, that, that kind of adds to the story here. So, you know, besides the imagery and everything like that, you, you know, you're also supposed to feel for the women and feel for the journey that they go on. And uh, some of the pain that some of them are in, because some of them aren't as strong as Sella. Um, so each one of them kind of takes this in a, di a different way. And, uh, you know, there is some pain and suffering for them and, and so forth. So again, you know, this is a very serious movie. There's not a whole lot of joking. You know, there are a few tough images. And, uh, but again, you know, I, I think it's just a very, you know, put together, you know, image drawn film, something, you know, very, um, uh, done for, for, you know, in an artistic way to, to capture these, these, these images and so forth. Um, but yeah, again, the story to me is, is, you know, there's a huge level of weirdness there. Um, and, uh, a lot of drama in a way. Um, yeah, you know, there, there, you know, it's. It's horror in, in what's happening to these women. It, there are, like I said, a few horror images. Um, but I guess if you're, if you're waiting for the true, true horror in this movie, and again, hopefully that's not giving too much away, but um, and maybe why I, I, it kind of brought me back in the end is this, the horror that happens at the end of the movie. There is horror that happens at the end of the movie. And uh, I guess that's kind of sort of saves the movie, at least for me. But uh, it, it did get... A little hard for me to watch and so forth and 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 um you know not not you know i guess it's just not my movie not my kind of movie but um a definitely well done movie um the the, the women in it did a really excellent job um you know again you know the focus isn't hugely on the shepherd i mean he's there he plays a role obviously a big role in it um but it's taken, you know, more largely from, from Sella's point of view and some of the other women uh, as well. Um, 
so again, you know, not not my totally uh, not totally my movie. Um, so I, I think I'm gonna give this one uh, 2.5 pools of blood. Um, again, that that's out of five. In case you're wondering, um, I'm sure other people out there will, will rate it higher. Um, maybe those who are more into this type of movie or or more who give things that are more art, artistically done or, or for the images and so forth and blah, 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 and, and that kind of thing. We'll probably give it a higher rating. Um, but, you know, it's just, I you know I give it maybe a little bit lower just because just it's just not my kind of movie and and, and um, a ton of weird for, for me and so forth. Um, you know, and, and I, I do appreciate the ending and, and what they did there. And, and, you know, that's a sad fact, but... Uh, you know, I'm a horror fan, and that that's what I'm looking for. And um, if you follow me and and, and everything, I, I think I I stand pretty pat at where I feel or what I'm looking for in, in movies and so forth, or at least what I enjoy. Um, you know, not a hundred percent of the time, or that doesn't always come true. But um, you know, I, I can give credit for for a movie, um, that even if it's well done. Maybe it's not my my kind of movie. Um, but if it's well done, it's well done. Um, you know, like one I also just reviewed, uh, Sea Fever is another one that, that, you know, may have had some points that maybe were a little bit more, more boring and, uh, and so forth. But it was more of also kind of like this one, very more serious movie. Um, there wasn't really any let down in it. There was not as much comedy in it. And this one's kind of the same way. Well, this one's even more serious. Um, there really isn't too much joking. Um, you got to follow the madness and the, and, the, and the weirdness and so forth um, for it. So, uh, you know, we have, may have to agree to disagree on this one. and uh, But it is it is what it is. So, enough rambling on about this one. Uh, the Other Lamb, 2.5 Pools of Blood. Um, and uh, if you check it out, uh, feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you thought. You know, if you liked it, you didn't like it. Uh, what you thought of the ending. I'd be curious to see what other people thought of the ending of this movie. And uh, if that played any role on um, what you thought uh, of the movie overall. But um, yeah, with that, uh, hopefully you subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more reviews. I'm trying to put out as many as I can and, and, and um, as fast as I can. And uh, if you're looking for written reviews, of course, horrorsgoryreviews.blogspot.com. Uh, you can find that link down below as well, along with uh, where to find me on social media, um, as well as this. You can always head over to promotehorror.com for, for news and promotions and more fun horror stuff. Um, as Horrors Gory Reviews is the official review blog of promotehorror.com. Just throw that out there for the hell of it. Um, and with that, I guess I'll catch you next time, horror fans.